Hello there, and welcome to a just for fun match with Rabid featuring Horn of Plenty as our cage match card. I assume we'll just play until we're sick of it. That's usually how I do these anyway. Everything looks like it's streaming all right and all that other good stuff okay so we're gonna do horn of plenty uh, I don't know how often we'll have big horn of plenty decks it looks like it's possible here for sure he's got the 5-2 probably um, There's definitely uh, enough stuff here for a Horn of Plenty Mega turn. One, two, three, yeah. I mean, you only really need about, you know, four or so actions, and then the rest you potentially can always get from treasure, although you would really rather not have to play with treasure. <clears throat> but anyways, there's certainly, you know, four or five or even six actions you could play on a turn if you wanted to. I'm going to open develop gear and then uh, you know go from there. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how to develop this. Mint will obviously be key. Um, a big mint will accelerate you and also if you can hit it after you have a horn of plenty then you're in really good shape. <coughs> So he goes with Hamlet Develop, which looks uh, perfectly reasonable to me. Um, I'm going to presume, well, it depends on if I did draw an estate or not. If I don't, if I don't draw an estate with my gear here, then I, I won't have to set one aside, but... Um, I don't know what I'll get for it. So you buy the gear, which looks right. So I did find an estate, so I want to set one aside here and just take Hamlet. This could already be a mint. Though I'll have to, of course, get so... Well, I'll, I, I mean... Yeah, I mean, I think it's probably best to go ahead and get the mint. I'll have to, of course, mint a silver or um, develop another one to get to the I could have put more coppers. I mean, I could have made the mint bigger, but I suppose I could have done all, all seven coppers there, but then I wouldn't have had any. I mean, it would have been a similar situation. I mean, it might have been worth it to get the la get the full copper trash. I can believe that. Um, I'm going to want to get... I'm not sure if I actually want to buy a workshop. Um... I don't think, I mean, I think they're good. Obviously, there's lots of things you want to pick up here. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure still. So I can, and I will, discard for action here. And then I need to decide. <clears throat> I guess it's just got to be a state develop, right? I will mint a silver here. And 
And then the question is whether I want to buy a shanty town or another gear. Farming villages will be important. He got some nice draw there, so he'll probably be able to get a big mint in this turn. Um, one would assume at least five, I would guess. I didn't hit five here, unfortunately. I guess that wasn't all that likely. Question is whether I want a. That's not true. So he. Uh, he's probably a little bit more built up than me. He doesn't have. The. Well, he can get the money anyway. Um, so I think I got to develop a gear on top and just buy the farming village here. This turn will be focused on getting to five. It wouldn't be crazy for me. Well, it'll be a little hard. I'll definitely develop the silvers later once I have the horn because I don't want them <laughs> particularly. So <clears throat> he's done pretty good work with his shanty towns drawing. I was pretty fortunate actually that his last turn, well, you know, to not have found the the workshop. Well, that, second time finding the workshop wouldn't have hurt him at all but I guess he didn't have the workshop at all never mind anyway your draw is mostly limited by how many uh, farming villages you get here well gears gears and farming villages I don't know if he has he won't have enough to buy a. He doesn't have three silvers, does he? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I kind of anticipate not playing the develop this turn. Of course, I could set it aside with gear rather than. Um, discarding it for actions. Um, Chanty Town plays quite nicely with the with the gears and pretty well with the hamlets too. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any reason to add extra silvers. It basically is just a stock card at this point and an additional one above the amount I have in fact I really my only price point I really want to hit is four uh, I'll mostly just gain horns through mint and horns themselves so the only I mean it's it's better to be a little leaner and just have four dollars to buy a farming village or something than or a gear Last turn was very nice for me. A really good draw. It hurts, I think, to lose the mint. Um, maybe it doesn't hurt that much. I mean, His deck is pretty good, so he's probably okay. He's probably not too broken up about it. <clears throat> A 
what does orchard do? Four for okay. For some reason, I always think orchard and is museum, almost like one hundred percent of the time, but it's not. So. Okay, so here I want to. I don't need to keep the coppers around, especially. I do want to get to um, I can top deck a gear with the Yeah, let's top deck a gear now. I may want to set something. I could, well, I'll set aside in a second. Uh, this is all right. Get another horn by a farm village. Really need to focus on the gears, probably. I'm pretty jealous of the workshop. My shanty town is going to be necro pretty often, maybe for the rest of the game. There are some things I can do to make it not necro, but those generally involve um, taking away draw anyway, <laughs> so they're not exactly helping me draw the deck. In fact, they are probably not helping me draw the deck. So, he is drawing a deck. Got a nice it gets two horns. Uh, I'm sure I can get three horns if I want to, though it's not the draw isn't so good that the horn split is everything. I mean, the draw split also matters a pretty big amount. Um, Could set aside the mint. He's not going to pile those. If you can get five mints, well, he might pile them. 
Um, okay, so if I'm going to get three. Horns of Plenty. That is just too many, but. I guess the only no I mean it's still not a pile out I was gonna say that if he empties the horns then I might have a pile up that's just not true I mean maybe if I had set aside the develop I can get pretty close but and it would fortunately probably be point scoring for me because it would add <clears throat> additional hamlets, I think. Anyways, I don't really have the draw to make that happen. It's going to be a little bit tricky to maneuver around these piles because our draw isn't very good, so it's not easy to predict necessarily what you or your opponent can do. Oh, I forgot to change my uh, my Twitch stream title. I even wrote it in. Didn't click the button. It's misleading. hate to mislead so he is going for I guess the horn and the gear Must have shanty town in hand. No, it's just farming village. Okay. I was thinking a shanty. What did I set aside with my gear? Two coppers. Unfortunately, and he's greening a little bit. That's interesting. I guess that makes sense. And then buy a horn. What do I do? I even have eight uniques one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I have nine. So if I draw the deck, I can win. I can't draw the deck, though. <clears throat> I mean, that's out of the question. It would have to be 
perfect. So, uh, I don't have to play the mint. I will have to draw with my shanty town to get to stuff. Um, I mean, I could save the mint. I don't really want to. Um, discard anything. Do I need the copper? I only have to buy an estate, right, if I draw everything. Twenty-four. Maybe that's not right. Twenty-four, twenty-seven. He must have gained all oh, right, his gear went up too, so he's like even if I draw the deck it's not quite enough because I have to get two sh two hamlets or something. Um. This is not gonna work. But I can start setting up something, assuming he kind of took away all his gain, so he's not in as good a position that, with regards to that anymore. Um, of course, I'm not in. I didn't really play very many gears, so I didn't particularly help myself in that respect. I didn't really get more things set aside. Well, I don't want to give him a pile out, but he doesn't have gains anymore, right? He just has the the develop and the workers whatever the workshop whatever those things are called so it's not like the hugest of deals for me to gain more of some of these things I don't think I could be wrong need two hamlets because he didn't buy this horn he doesn't can't actually threaten as much VP as maybe he'd like he also can get a shanty town for four points so that's not great for me um <laughs> I probably should have mint, went ahead and mint, minted the horn. I'm just not going to draw is my issue, which I don't really have a deck that's very good at that, so it's not too surprising. He 
he can he has one easy orchard points left. He could get a shanty town, which is pretty easy orchard points. And he can buy a duchy. Presumably he'll get to his gold and his silver. Well, I don't know if that for a fact. I pretty it it's pretty odd to me that he's not setting cards aside with gear. Um, I would think you want to do that, but Three islands is worth one more point than three duchies on this board, which is uh, maybe not that important, but is something. Maybe he can pile, I'm not sure. I don't think so. He he killed all his horns, right? Yeah. I'm not I'm not seeing it, but Shanty town's worth more than a duchy to him, so you can probably buy Hamlet Shanty or something. I'm definitely not doing anything this turn, so I'm going to have to just try and set aside what I can. And again, hope he doesn't have much next turn. Although he, like he, well, he has a lot of villages, so he'll be able to cycle through the deck probably. But he didn't. He didn't really. Uh, I really. I'm not sure he's working towards the end of the game very well, but it, it will be just really hard for me to make up this points deficit. I think I'm not I'm still not yeah he said that I I agree but uh I don't and next turn he still won't quite have a finish even that's like also with the assumption that he like draws everything. So I mean I can't help him finish, so he probably will get another promise though, and that is pretty much as good as a finish for him. I have to figure out what to set aside. Um In my quest here. Um,
this may be bad but I could set aside it set it aside with the Hamlet right now um, I guess there's a chance I find something better to set it aside with. That's not very likely. I kind of, well, I could set it aside with the silver. That doesn't help me, though. Um, or does it? Do I need the silver? I can't remember now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So no, I don't necessarily need the silver. Um, though probably I do. <laughs> I assume he'll just like get to his... Well, he's got a lot of cards to draw through, so... I mean, he can do a lot of them are cantrips or, or draw cards, but... I assume he'll just get to eight and horn of plenty me. Islanding the silver is probably a sad play. I should have islanded the Hamlet, I think. Um. Oh, maybe he just has the... pile out anyway. I mean, I knew lowering the hamlets could lead to this. He was pretty close to having it anyway. Although I did certainly make it possible. I don't know Was he, how many uniques was he at there. I mean, he would have been able to get... Um, he would have been able to he didn't have eight uniques in play but well he had played the develop and the hamlet and the shanty and gear and farming he was close he was at seven at least maybe he didn't have eight Okay, so uh, here we don't have villages. There's some draw. There's a variety of draw, but there are no villages. So it's going to make uh, make the horn of plenty a bit of a hard sell. You could do, you could get one and just you know use it to gain things, but. Um, but it's not a, an especially inspiring buy, I don't think. I'm not actually sure what is an especially inspiring buy here. It's It's got to be a money kind of game. But of course Enchantress uh, gets in the way of that to some degree. definitely gonna be weird actually I can't decide if I want to plan something
I think I'm gonna do a weird opening. I'm gonna open Ray's Salager. I don't know. Board would be easier if there were a village. You would at least know then what you're going to build. <laughs> I'm leaning towards Haggler. I think it will play pretty nicely with the uh, with the uh, whatever it's called palace. My Ray's missed, and my Salvager missed escape. That's okay. It was it was a weird opening. Uh, weird is probably just a euphemism for bad, as it so often is. I think is probably the right way to to put it. He gets a horn. I don't. I'm not necessarily feeling the horn, but. My rays presumably will just cantrip. Um, I can live with that. Ugh, the Salager missed now. Hagler, of course, works in spite of Enchantress. And in fact, Enchantress gives you a way to get two Hagglers in play, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Um, so there's no collision in that respect. Uh, it actually maybe helps the Hagler deck with a tiny amount. I'm not positive on that. If your deck's okay, your cantrip shouldn't be too much worse than giving silver money, right? So. <clears throat> I still have not trashed an estate. I will do, uh, I'll do Haggler as the, as the enchanted thing for sure. Um, I didn't actually... Just so it's clear, I didn't like no notice that this Hagler Enchantress interaction that it worked before I did anything. There was no uh, special cleverness on my part, as there rarely is. Um, it was just uh, what happened. <clears throat> Once I start getting gold, I'll be in good shape. I don't know when that'll happen, but someday, someday. Not this turn. But I am getting in position to do it. I could get a seller now. I can't decide what's better, seller or raise. Um, I mean, they're kind of similar in effect. I hope he gets to an enchantress here. I'm not paying great attention to what he's doing. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> this will at least be if I could get eight here that would be fantastic but I um, I have at least a number of call I mean I think there is another silver in here so if it's top deck then I'm a happy camper but <clears throat> I'm just gonna score a lot every time I province. I'm gonna like score a lot. I'm gonna score an extra three points every time I province. So, well, not every time. I'm gonna run out of silvers here shortly, but you get the idea. not the best thing to lose a salinger but <clears throat> I could uh, I'm not exactly sure if this gold trash takes me down that way it should be fine anyway but Well, sure, I'll get another copper. He, like, has to play the enchantresses to make his turns good, but they just, like, they help me so much. Um, not so much, but they help me. For sure. Yeah, that was not a Horn of Plenty board. I don't like my opening, but I kind of like, well, I certainly like playing Hagglers versus uh, Enchantresses there. But my opening, not so, not so in love with that. I mean, it wasn't like the worst opening ever. But... Uh, this should, uh, yeah, so you can certainly do the mega turn here. Though there's other things going on as well. I'm going to open Amulet, of course, with the three. And then I'll have to think about whether I want to open like a Puka or a... Well, there's lots of nice targets anyways. I'm, I'm going to play the Cursed Gold. Uh, I guess you could do double amulet if you're lucky enough to have the draws we have. Well, I'll, we'll find out if he thinks it's worth it to get a five or not. Uh, I wouldn't ball here. I mean, you could ball. That doesn't seem that doesn't seem especially useful. I'm always tempted to do the pook opening and it never works. <laughs> I always try it though. I, I want it to work sometime. But your opening wouldn't be bad, of course. You can wait pretty long before you insert the horns. Uh, no rush to get those. Just a rush to get clean. So it might be better to just do the amulets. 
and not take on the curse. I don't think, yeah, I think I'll probably do double amulet. I, I still haven't figured out curse gold at all or puka. He does the same thing. I think I agree. This is not great. There was something to be said. <clears throat> I'm not real in love with triple amulet. I probably got amulet collision. Maybe not. Now I see if the whatever. I just gotta try it. I'm curious. Yeah, I did have a collision. It's not the worst thing in the world, but that could have been two devil's workshops, but I'm not sure if that'll work out. Now I'm definitely going to be behind on trashing though, especially, well, he, we'll see what he has. He's just going to remove temptation. That's probably wise. I wonder if I'll ever do do do. I don't know if the torture stack is like actually good or not. He's gonna crush me just by being more thin, though. It's not gonna be close. <laughs> I'm gonna top I'm gonna draw the Puka. That's exactly what I'm gonna draw here. Look, he has like six cards, seven cards. <laughs> this is gonna be, this is gonna be a massacre. He'd be so clean. I wonder if he'll take Horn now or if he'll take Butcher. <clears> or <throat> Ball, I guess, is not impossible. I'm I'm likely to draw my Dill's Workshop. It might be bottom decked. Though I have another Wall Village in here, so I guess I'm guaranteed to get through the deck. Imps are going to be pretty slick. Uh, it's not maybe the best choice but 
Oh, I put my double workshop already, didn't I? Yeah, whoops. Silly me. So, now I'll trash this. I kind of want a second Devil's Workshop, though I'm not positive that going that heavy on the imps is going to pay any dividends at all. But it, they're kind of fun. They do have that going for them. <clears throat> He misses imps or his imp. I could guarantee an imp here by taking silver with both amulets, but I don't think that can be justified. This is looking scary. Okay. I can get two imps now, though, uh, with a curse gold thing. Curse gold play, I guess. But I guess I, that doesn't really make any sense. So, and I drew all the walled villages, right? So the puka is going to be dead. <clears throat> the puka is with copper, which is nice. But it is with no villages. Uh, I mean, I could have stopped at, at some point. Uh, probably got to just not play the Puka, right? Just go like wall, walled villages, or ball, walled villages. My deck is really stupid. <laughs> That was a pretty unfortunate draw. I don't know. I don't know if you can describe it as unlucky or if it's just what I've earned. <clears throat> I think it's probably just what I've earned. He must not have found his torch or anything, or he would have played that with the imp, I assume. So he kind of stalled here. If I have a pook on top, I might still have a good turn and. I mean, not enough to win, but to at least play on. So I got a bunch of walled villages. He's got the draw. I don't, I'm not overly worried about the torture, though. You know. <laughs> Pardon me. It can do, do some damage. No, no, okay, that's life. Uh, dun, 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 dun.
I would have probably got another horn. He can get whatever he wants. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to never take curse again with the the gold, the cursed gold. I did some other stupid things. That was not the limit of my stupidity this game. <laughs> He can take some cursed villages, it's fine. I could take some, they might be help me protect against the tortures a bit. I do need to find something. How big is this shuffle? pretty big. It's got all those coppers in it. Doesn't it? Alright, we can just we get resign. <laughs> um I yeah, I was lost for a long time. I wonder if I mean certainly it would have helped to draw the Puka that one turn, but I don't think that was gonna <laughs> I don't think that was gonna cut it. This is a nice opening though. Um, so, Monastery Trading Post of gets, of course, gets cleaned very, very, very fast. Um, quite fast, anyway. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna bother with the. Uh, with the other twos right now. Dang it. I was supposed to only draw that, not both of us. He missed the memo. Uh, this can be a gear. I wonder if you want alchemists. So my training post whiffs on estates. He gets one estate out of it. Uh, I'm not actually getting much <clears throat> advantage here from the monastery. I guess monastery trading post collisions aren't aren't actually that much aren't aren't really accelerating your trashing because you just trash a copper that you already um, would have trashed on the separate hand. But anyway. Uh I mean, I can play with multiple gears. Or I can get a second gear already, I guess. I wonder if Smugglers is going to be worth it. Terminals are a little hard to find here. <clears throat> wow, that's going to be helpful for him. This just doesn't even work at all, this collision. I could kill the monastery. That's probably not the play. Here I can at least sit, set aside gear estate. Um, Guess he's gonna be a little bit behind on the trashing. Though, I don't know if it's in a meaningful way or not. If he found his horn, he'll be looking in okay shape, I think. If he found a silver, at least with it. Uh, I see just buy a gear. I could do the two estates. Um, this is 
this would be really banking on hitting uh I mean this has got to be the thing to do but Now, now there was a turn where if I'd set aside two estates, then the uh, the gear would have actually done something for me. Not the gear, the monastery trading post interaction would have done something for me. It would have let me trash an extra copper, but... He's got to take a walled village, I assume. Maybe even two. I think Smugglers is just outclassed by Horn here, basically. Unless there's like some, you know, window where you only have three and you don't, and you're ready for a gainer, but you can't get the Horn. Otherwise, it's just hard. I definitely think, you know, it would be nice to be buying alchemists here, but it's just not practical, I don't think. So I've got wall village gear setting here already, so maybe I'll just trash it by the horn. I could, uh, that's not going to help me, though. I think it would have been pretty reasonable to go double walled village on his turn. It helps with this stuff a little bit. Although he appears to have a lot of horns in hand now, so he may be able to. No, he can't even afford it. So. Yeah, crossroads is okay, but not the best thing ever. I think it's got to be the training post, right? And, and play on with the gears. Uh. <laughs> Soon we'll be wanting to kill these silvers. Actually, I'll see one, two, three. <clears throat> so I did not find my walled village, which is really sad. But that's life. I really wanted it, which means I deserved it. I will need to somehow figure out how to get to eight uniques. Because it's hard to play a trading post. <clears throat> you 
You can play with a wine merchant. It's not the worst. You can, of course, Lighthouse is easy to splash in, and Crossroads is easy to splash in. If I'd found a little village here, I'd have a turn, and a quite a nice one. Well, I still am going to gain like three cards, so that's not too bad. I'm probably going to keep passing the buck on this trashing, though. How many coppers do we have? Maybe we just each have one copper. So what does he get? He just gets a horn. Which I don't disagree with. Maybe we just don't want to keep the trading post around. <clears throat> what are we going to do for our uniques? Uh, we have a copper still, which maybe is not worth keeping, but one, two, three, four, five. So we're at five. So gold is reasonable, wine merchant's reasonable, crossroads is reasonable. Various other things are also reasonable. They just. Um, potentially problematic. So I can't actually buy or gain that nice of things. This is a situation where I was that I was discussing where it may be worthwhile to get a smugglers it's actually a nice actually I wonder if he'll let me change my game I should have set aside the the blah 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 the estate, I think. Um But I didn't, so I'm pretty clean. <coughs> I don't have anything. I guess I probably need a setup to have eight uniques next turn. I killed the copper. I think worth it to get draw consistent, but. Which basically means I need two more two more things this next turn. Training isn't all that bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's 
So he did... He did eliminate my smugglers from this turn. Which is really pretty much okay with me. Um, but I did get to five, which is good. So I'm I'm pretty low on He doesn't have draw. He's going to be limited in what he can do. Um, did I say I needed three additional things to make this eight? I could get a potion. I'm not gonna get a potion. Yeah, so I did. Uh, I would need to get a copper if I wanted to have eight. I don't even know if I need to have eight or if Dutchie is fine for what I probably will inevitably do. Probably Dutchie's okay. What does he have? He has one, two, three, four, five, potentially six, seven. I think he's sitting at seven, though the trading post is a little hard to manage. Um, he gets seven of the horns. It's interesting. At least I think it was seven. Is he gonna? He's got to get draw this turn. He didn't set anything aside with gear. If he's not setting side cards with gear, I'm not super worried. His turns have a limit to how big they can be. Um, uh, I I guess if I only have three horns, which I think is true, but I have a wine merchant too now. I think I'm in range of pile out now with that buy so he gets a horn yeah that's fine I can live with it he didn't set anything up he didn't he didn't set anything aside <clears throat> <clears throat> it may have been worthwhile this oh I still have it I guess figure out what I want to set aside here. I probably ought to be able to buy a province. <laughs> I guess wine merchants never in play, is it? Shoot. I don't even have six things yet, do I? 
All right, that was silly of me. Um, pretty silly. Though it's not too bad to be able to buy a buy something. I was also like counting wrong, I think, at some point. Um, what to do, what to do. Do I only have two horns or did I set two aside? I set two aside, okay. I don't have to have the smugglers now. That would be probably nice. Well, I can't play both, right? I don't have the actions. I don't think he has the trawl. I don't actually know what the heck I'm doing here. <clears throat> Do I need the walled village? Probably not. Don't need the lighthouse now. Okay, this is confusing to me. up to five. Here I thought it was going to be more. I gotta, nah, I'm not gonna request more undos. I've already been doing that a million times over. You know he's going to set aside this time. I'm not going to... What did I set aside, though? I don't think I'm going to draw anywhere. I'm going to pick up a bunch of cards, but I'm not going to draw anywhere. What did he do? <clears throat> well, I can smuggle a duchy. Oh, I am going to draw somewhere. Okay. I should be able to win, right? I can get a duchy and I can empty the wall villages. 
I believe. Looks uh, looks all doable to me. What's my last card anyway? Silver. Yeah, so. I think, uh, I'm not sh I'm not sure of the big horn turn. For him, I mean, to deny me that that smugglers, then his deck doesn't run anymore. My deck wasn't particularly good, but. Thank goodness I had that crossroads in hand at least. <clears throat> Though most of the deck was all wall village and gears, although I could have just had a gear, I guess. That would have been a really frustrating dud. Um, so actually, it would have been pre. If I had the copper in hand and silver, I might have already had it in hand without the crossroads. I'm not sure. I don't remember now. But if I had the horns. And I had copper, s silvers, two silver, copper, and the smugglers, and I had the win already. Um, this one will be pretty difficult to draw through. Actually, it'll just be basically impossible. I mean, you could get, you could uh, pile drive the advisors, but there's no trashing, so you'll still be, you'll still be a mess. And uh, they'll give you silvers for Thembassy and. Um, this is not going to pan out. I'm going to open Silver Silver. I mean, this really looks like Embassy Big Money to me. Um, I would buy a Relic probably. I'm not even sure if I'd buy a Relic, but maybe a Relic and definitely a Horde. But uh, other than that, there's not. I mean, I guess you could try a Golem thing. That would the, That would be the only thing you could try. That would be a bit engine-y. That might work. It's not impossible anyway. It's the golem, golem idea. Because then you, you basically you gain your advisors with ours in a workshop, and then It's still hard to draw the horns up. I mean, if you have one big turn, I guess you are okay. But if it takes you, it takes you a long time to get there, and then it's not going to be that great. It requires drawing golems into your starting hand over and over and over again. Basically, you get some extra points. You probably can play with monument in that deck, although. It's just so. I mean, if there was another, if there was a village, you could try it, but if, or if there's scheme, you know, something like that. But I just don't see it. Happening. Um, he hits, he banquets for us, Embassy, which I don't, I'm not convinced of it. It could be fine, but I'm not sure. Now I'm probably going to. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't do it with still having my five to come, I guess. Um, but I will do it now. And 
and I guess I'll take a hoard here. Might be better to just have a gold. Since you already got all these silvers. Might be a little done a bit nicer. I'm not sure. Now we get to play MC Big Money, which happens so rarely and it's just a big crapshoot. It's just like who draws their embassy early? Who doesn't? Whose embassy misses the shuffle? Oh, it was yours? You're a sucker. I don't like double relic. I don't think the relic attack hits that hard, to be honest, here. Maybe it does, but... Um, I'm not, like, super convinced of double horde either. I'm going to do something which I hate when people do, but I'm just going to buy duchies every single time I have a horde. I think it's pretty silly, but I'm going to do it. Here I think I'll buy a second embassy. So he's getting a third embassy, which is a lot of embassies. Uh, but you know, they are good cards. I assume he'll get to, his relics have uh, collided repeatedly. So one of my hordes and one of my embassy misses. Um, he assume, I assume he gets another province here. I've given him enough silvers that it's... Well, he could have seven. That's not... He doesn't have any gold, so... This was nice draw for me. Actually, perfect draw for me. Uh, this is unfortunate. I've had good draws. That's for sure. I'll probably get the second get the second relic down on me. I would actually prefer a longer game. He doesn't have as much or the quality of treasure I have. And I'm so far I've drawn very, very well with my embassies. He seems to have drawn pretty well too, but or played him most often. He has more though, so this was a little more money than I would have liked to draw altogether, but can't banquet for duchies. So I guess he'll just buy an estate. I'm not sure if that even helps him. Fortunately, he's much more likely than me to get the uh, um, just to get both of the last provinces. I think just because the number he's got to have embassy in hand now, but. Um, He's not that, at this stage, I don't even know that an embassy play is all that likely to yield him a province. I'm not sure if there's a number of estates where it actually makes sense to um, I mean, I could buy an estate, I had a horde, it made some sense there from that respect, but I don't know if there's a number of estates you can buy where getting the last province, you know, guarantees you the win, or getting one more province. I don't know. <clears throat> I think I have an embassy bottom decked here. Not really sure. I'm definitely willing to take province. He 
even though, you know, he may win immediately. Okay, so I have to see how my embassy does. He hasn't played his relics in a while, so he may just have it in hand. Nope. Nope. His deck, of course, is such a mess. Uh, he... Minus two. I'm much more likely to get there by... just drawing a hand of treasures with it. There are all my golds. Yeah, that was a weird one. And by weird, I mean it was super boring embassy big money. <laughs> it wasn't that boring. I don't, I don't like how he played it actually in a few ways so I don't know that it was all completely trivial but he came out with I mean at the end of the game he just didn't have much treasure <clears throat> donate I'm so bad with donate I guess you can't really build a horn deck. You probably do Fianum, right? If you could, except I can't. <laughs> what do you do with the horn? You can get one, two, three, four. I mean, he can get there, but it's not like you'll draw it often or anything. <clears throat> Um, I do wish I had four. I would, I would absolutely open Fiatum, donate on the, on the four three. I mean, I could open donate now as well. This isn't, I would have rather, of course, drawn more money here, one of the silvers at least, but he buys a fool, huh? So I would have definitely gone ahead and donated, but. I don't want that. Okay, do we want the, do we want to keep the lucky coin around for a little while? keep it <clears throat> I'm gonna keep it for a bit I've decided those are okay I guess I mean it's whatever he can get a second feudum that's pretty cool I would get the second feudum and donate and go in with eight silvers it's pretty nice. I'm actually going to be, I guess, a turn ahead. <clears throat> I've got nine here, so I don't quite manage to... Uh, if he trashes his fool, I might buy a fool. If he doesn't trash his fool, then... I'll probably just buy silver. I wish I had 10. That's, that's I guess, the, the main reason for not keeping the lucky coin, and probably would have been better. I should have not kept the lucky coin and been able to buy vault this turn, because then it's just like, 
you're in business. Feudum only gives you three silvers because I'm not great at knowing what cards do. Yeah, it would be would have been pretty slick to have Vault this turn. I'm still not in a bad spot. He gets a ghost, which I guess is okay. He does trash his fool. Um The risk of buying a fool, of course, is that you just don't hit. Um, that I don't hit eight. Well, I, I it would be very hard. It would take a quite a quite a combination of boons, actually. I think. Anyway, I'm gonna try it. Now he's got to pay off his debt. I'm not sure if the ghost is worth it or not. Like here the ghost, is he going to rebuy a fool? And then he'll get to ghost the fool? I could choose not to play my fool, right? <clears throat> he may choose something a little more traditional. He may just choose a pearl diver or something. Gets a caravan guard. So let's hope that my loss in the woods gets me some kind of cash equivalent or draw or something. That'll do it. <clears throat> That'll do it again, I think, because and I get the silver. Games of Province. If I were tracking the boons, I would probably know whether the ones coming up are like, um, you know, good ones. I guess we're going to tie. I can live with that. He didn't ghost though, so he could whiff. It's not very likely. Actually, I'm not even sure if he could have that was that was interesting I feel like he well, I don't know I don't really have a opinion <laughs> I'm not sure I have any criticism of, of the play I I think I probably made some mistakes, but I'm not I'm not real sure. I don't know how many games we've played even. But uh I mean I'll keep playing them if he wants to. Those, we have had some good horns and some not. So it's been a decent cage match. I mean, horn is like that. When there's draw, there's something to do with it. This, like here, sure. Play with horn. Uh, tower and wall kind of fight each other a bit. Mm, I think I'm going to go with this sauna silver opening. I think getting clean is just that good. I'm 
now the question of like when to add the black market or other things is not so clear to me because uh, of course it slows your trashing down a bit you don't I mean you don't need to have the black market necessarily he is going to get a trash in unless the silver is at the bottom so that's a bit sad unless the silver is at the bottom in which case it's not it's not a bit sad at all but he does so it is sad he didn't have enough quite for this sauna though all right, I'm going to get a trash in. Potentially a trash with an Avanto buy. Well, I guess guaranteed a trash with an Avanto buy. <coughs> um, unless he doesn't take this on. Even nicer, I guess. Do I want the Saunas versus the Avantos? Actually, that's a little too much money because now this hand is going to be garbage. Ooh, not garbage. So the Estates bottom deck, that was really nice for me. Uh, he is going to have a Avanto buy. <clears throat> Somewhere... We gotta figure out how to draw this deck. This is looking a bit sad. Well, so that's not so good. He gets a second Avanto. He may opt for something else. He may opt for the horn now or. Yeah, that's very bad. Uh, so he's going to definitely be clean before me and have way more draw. <coughs> I have to buy an Avanto now. I guess you don't have to do Horn, you can do Bridge Troll. Well, realistically, you can just, you know, do both. That was not ideal. I don't know which one, <clears throat> I don't know which spins up faster. He's gonna draw no matter what, it doesn't, doesn't matter. I don't know what spins up faster, horn or bridge. <clears throat> bridge troll. I think bridge troll is maybe a little bit more gains. But you may not have the money to support them right away this is going to be a slaughter too I might have made a mistake taking the sauna when I did like the third sauna is not a particularly it's not a particularly good advantage here so I maybe just ought to have left it to him I could certainly believe that Um, I almost have to take the horn. What is my hand? I, I still have just like so many coppers. He has one at least, so I have 
at least one in here. I mean, what's my deck? I got two advisors. Two advisors, silver, copper. Sauna in here and a state. So I might get to the horn if I buy one. I'm not going to win if I just take. I'm not going to win, period. That's maybe the best, most accurate sentence. <clears throat> Unless he has a weird dud. But I might draw through most of the deck here. I'm not even sure if what I described was accurate. He gets ports now. Yeah, that's that seems good. Why did he give me that was pretty weird. So what do I got in here? I got horn and two. Yeah, I think I can draw the deck anyway. So that was pretty confusing to be honest that he um that he took the that he gave me the saunas I guess it wouldn't have mattered but I mean it does a little bit yeah that was really that was like a mistake uh, I guess I only need to have five I mean it, if I'm gonna play with a bridge troll it might be good to have more than five namely six um, Just so I can double, uh, <clears throat> double advisor. Oh, he has all those tower points. That's why his score's better than mine. Higher than mine. Ports are also a good, good source of tower points. They're not really any use to me, but... If he had to troll, he's just gonna live that horn life. That time he didn't he didn't play friendly. I guess it still didn't matter. Um Oh, I gotta remember to play my... He dudded. 
It's a miracle. I can score points this turn. He doesn't have eight uniques, right? Well, he probably can get it. Oh, let's count. One, two. Yeah, I guess he must have a bunch of these if he does it. Okay, so he is at eight uniques now. For sure, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, he's got like nine. So he is in province range. So am I, though. Um, not quite a pile out range, unfortunately. So I'm going to make it through the deck this time. I don't need to keep this copper around anymore, I don't think. Well, there may be a reason. I'll have to look at the exact numbers here. But uh, Where's that merchant? There we go. Okay. So, three, four. So, he has four gains, five gains total. He doesn't have a bridge troll, so he's, he, is, he is limited in that respect. <clears throat> so as long as I leave As long as I leave, uh, he's got four horns, so five gains. As long as I leave five, five gains left, it's okay to to go pretty aggressive here. It's probably better to uh, trash the copper versus buy an extra advisor, or is it better to have the extra advisor? Or just to have the copper in case we need the money? Um, I'm not actually sure of that, to be honest. So I could add another bridge troll. I'll need a port if I want to do that. Basically, it's either go three advisors. Well, that's too many, but uh, actually, it maybe isn't because I'll score more points than him. I don't actually know who wins if he empties the advisors and the. I mean, I guess I would. Whoever has more, I guess, in any moment. Uh, I don't really want to, so the ports are at five.
this could uh, this could backfire quite easily. Um, I don't know that I need to be defending against him emptying these piles. I, I don't really have a sense of whether it, who wins if that happens. I guess with the ports it would be bad, but with the advisors it would be fine. Right, if he empties advisors and horns, well, I'm pretty low on points now. I don't think I can leave that option. This doesn't especially matter, does it? I guess a port is like technically a little bit better. Yeah, it didn't matter. Maybe he drew like 50 Avantos in the last turn. Alright, well he's drawing through here. He could uh, probably do five provinces. I couldn't have done five provinces, right? I could only do four. But he can do five provinces now. And that should be... Yeah, he has in fact one... One dollar extra. I don't think it's so hard to come back with against uh, a province deficit in wall games. I'm not certain there was anything I could really do. The duchies are just such a like a pilly source of points. There's just nothing. Um, that's a pretty good reveal. I guess. I don't know. have to get so many Dutch I mean I guess I can get potions I actually have buys right I didn't even think about the vineyards to be honest I totally forgot about them He can just buy provinces like one at a turn and it'll be fine for him. <clears throat> he doesn't have the gains anymore so I don't have to play around piles necessarily. Um, I don't especially have to play around piles. So what do I got? One, two, three. So anyway, I can have six point vineyards pretty easily. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get rid of some of this stuff, but um, probably don't need this guy anymore. I'm gonna need a couple potions. Boy, this is gonna be not not gonna work.
guess I should have not bought any provinces, but. give myself at least the sort of weird off chance of the uh, vineyards making it. I should have trashed probably a silver, but maybe he did it. Uh, probably not. Part of the problem is I need to have like so many vineyards before gaining an action isn't just like minus points on me. It's a huge pain to like figure out these. Uh... I should have left another province, obviously. Um... I forgot to play my horns. I should not have bought that province. That was the stupidest thing. There's no way he doesn't have it. So, I don't know if I had gotten another turn. Probably still not going to cut it, but... Please mute yourself, RTC. Um... Yeah, the the province buy was real stupid. I didn't really, I just kind of forgot about vineyards. I should have been angling for that earlier whenever he was, basically the turn before he was doing his big province thing. I should have been at least thinking about it. They were, I was already at 23 action cards, so they were worth quite a lot. And even my last turn, I probably should have been getting more potions in case he did whiff. <laughs> Um. Obviously, at the end, I could have gone crazy on ports to m sort of cross out some of my tower points as well, or wall points as well as, uh, um, I 
as well as uh, b beefing up those uh, those vineyards. Steph wanted black market. He sent me a <laughs> he sent me a DM. Oh, I mean, you know, I don't. I think the board had plenty. I don't. I guess there are maybe some nice things you could have found in the black market, but nicer than what was on the kingdom seems pretty tough to me. Uh, this is gonna be. There's no draw here. That's not true. There is draw in village. Okay, I take back whatever nonsense I was getting ready to say. What there is is not very good trashing. And uh and an and attacks, you know. But um Probably it's worth trying to build a little bit. Maybe more than a little bit. You'd certainly rather be the person with stat a ranger stack than not, I guess. Um, you'd really like to be the person with followers, I think. Then you can play with bishop a little more easily. Wasn't my favorite draw ever. I guess we have to think about whether it's when what's the timing on getting the ranger stuff if you're gonna try that ranger does help you pick up little cheap coins which is nice Horn gets around Swamp Hag, there is that convenience from the horn. <clears throat> the playing horn consistently here is not easy. At all. I may miss my province on my I may miss my province on my swamp hag turn. In fact I'm very, very likely to. I still am somewhat likely. Okay, now I not for sure. Wow, that was like a really good turn. Um I didn't get coin down, which is a bit of a disappointment. I'm going to go ahead and add another pro tournament. <clears throat> um, I don't really need to buy anything here. I don't actually know. I don't like Oasis gain particularly. Hopefully I stopped him from getting to 8, but it does not, okay, he also shuffled without his, without these cards, so that's really nice.
Definitely need to buy a coin. This may be a bit uh, presumptive to think that we'll be able to ch chain together a drawing deck here. This ranger is not actually all that likely to have hit eight. Um, I mean, I'm probably just going to buy a coin here. These decks are not going to come together. I'm hoping I just will be a little bit ahead in terms of having prizes and such. Um, actually, that is a good point. It'll be worth at least considering. <clears throat> this is just going to be play hag. When did I gain a curse? Oh, I wasn't thinking. I don't think it was worth it to gain a curse for me, but. He does have some coins down now. I still don't have a coin down. Um, unfortunately. Looks like I'm going to whiff on everything this time through. I wonder... No, there's nothing to... He buys a bishop, okay. So now I have at least one coin down. He will province this turn. I had a bit of an unfortunate draw. I can't get these uh, tournaments lined up to save my life. He did play a swamp hag there. I don't really feel any special need to buy anything now. That's infuriating, actually. I wonder if I should lose the Swamp Hag. That's really sad. Oh, well. Uh... I guess not. Kind of wanted to, but I hope I find a province or a tournament. I mean, hooray!
I don't know that all this back, I don't know all this sort of half engine building I've done has been any good at all. It kind of looks pretty awful. There's all the tournaments. Um. He didn't play a Swamp Ag, did he? No. We are going to run out of points, though, pretty soon. Alright. Alright, so we had some good horn of plenty games horn of plenty is a bit of all or nothing or nothing in some respects here we both picked one up i'm not i'm not certain it was worth it but i mean we got some okay stuff out of it this game um but thank you very much to rabid for playing and i hope everyone enjoyed it and i guess i will See y'all later.